Today we're catching fish using starbursts. Now I know there's a lot of fish out here that like to see the color and it attracts them to bite the hook. I'm gonna take advantage of the very colorful, beautiful looking starburst candy to catch me some dinner. Let's get started. Here. Oh, shit. So I just biked out to my favorite spot here. Um, I know it's my favorite spot because I love this tree right here in particular. I keep coming back to this tree and directly across it is the ocean. And now this is my favorite spot because there's a big hole right in front of us right here that usually a lot of fish like to gather around. I think that they're in the mood for some starbursts today. I'm gonna throw some starbursts into the hole and see if any fish will bite it. It's gonna be a really fun experiment. All right, so in my basket here that's attached to my bike, I've got everything that I need. Excuse me. I've got my backpack, my bucket with all my sinkers. I've got my bait boxes. And now look, these are the rigs that we like to use. Yeah. See, I've got them in our brand new rig spools. Now you see these floats that I have on here? I can catch fish because these floats are so colorful that it attracts them. You see, I've got these brand new floats. These are the sparkle gold and white floats and I've got the brand new orange and yellow sand flea floats, but I'm not gonna use them right now. Instead, I'm actually gonna be using the starbursts as the color instead of my hand-painted floats. And I'm gonna use fresh shrimp. So let's open up a starburst. Doesn't smell like anything. Doesn't smell like anything? Mm-mm. -mm. You wanna open this up with me and do like a taste test first, Aaron? Sure. Well, here's the rig right here. This is a basic high-low rig. I call this the catch-all rig because it can catch all kinds of fish. And we're gonna put some starbursts on here, but first, woo! <laughs> feels good, the water feels great. It feels great. Perfect temperature. So, for those of you, I mean, everyone's had starbursts before, right? 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 Everyone has had to have starbursts before. Comment below if you've never tried starbursts before. If you haven't, I would describe this as a fruity, little chewy candy. It's almost like gum, but it's you don't. It's not gum, though. You don't. You don't like. It melts. Yeah, it melts, it melts in your away. mouth. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like candy. taffy. It's kind of like taffy, it is right? It's like taffy. Okay, right. let's open it up. This is the classic wrapping as well. The classic. The classic wrapping uh -huh. packaging for it. Ooh, yeah. Look at these colors in here. Interesting. Look at all those colors. I know that they like yellow. I know that they like orange, orange and yellow. Right. So I'm gonna try those two. Honestly, I think pink is a good one. I don't pink? even know what flavors. That's my favorite one to eat. Are, oh, strawberry. They have each. Oh, have that's like strawberry little, flavor. I thought it was Pepto Bismol flavor. Pepto Bismol. They have little um, flavors at the bottom. I haven't had a Starburst in must be like ten it's years. Been a while. Looks pretty good. Oh. And. Hard. It's hard. At first. Mmm. It's delicious. Super chewy. My mouth is salivating so much right now. Me too. I like eating candy on the beach, actually. Yeah. We did bubble gum. We've done beef jerky. We've done marshmallows. Swedish fish. Swedish fish. Starburst is a good one. Did you try it's yours? It's acidic. It's sweet. It's a little bit like tangy sour from the orange. Mm -hmm. It's chewy. It's like stuck in my teeth immediately. It's all over my teeth. I can hardly talk because there's so much saliva coming up. Don't drool. You know what we should do? We should do fruit gushers next. Gushers? Mm-hmm. Fruit gushers. Okay. All right, let's try some of that one. Oh, that's a beautiful pink color. It is. They liked the bubblegum color last time we did it. Right. So... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look, it matches my shirt. Oh, this one's the best. The best? It's like creamy strawberry. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Definitely has like a creamy flavor in there. Let's get it on our hooks. Yeah, how are you gonna use this to catch fish? I'll show you. I'm gonna start with yellow. <laughs> bite a little piece off. I'm gonna roll it into a ball. Orange and yellow. 
kind of hard to get it on here. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's like putting socks on a rooster. What? It's like putting socks on a rooster foot. I've never heard that before, but that does sound difficult. <laughs> okay, so I'll put it on like this, just right on the hook like this. And that color hopefully will just attract them to bite the hook. Just right at the top right here. You don't want it to interfere with the actual hook itself. Now we're gonna put some shrimp on. Get your shrimp on. Now I've got my very special Invisalign thread. I mean my Invisit thread. This will hold all my bait on here. And all I gotta do is wrap it about 15 to 20 times. Keep my shrimp from flying off the hook. We got our starbursts on here. Yellow. Orange. Right in the hole. Okay, for the next one, I'm gonna do just shrimp so that we can be able to tell whether the starburst one catches more fish or less fish. While we wait for a bite, I'm gonna set up my other rod. This other rod's gonna be a special rod because I'm gonna use my float. Nice catch, Aaron. Oh, it just got off. Oh, no. Oh, what did it, it take? It just got off. Do you know but look, it, it, it ate the yellow one, it looks like. All right, I'm going to get it back out there. Okay. Holy crap, it got bitten right away. What color should I use, Aaron? Well, I think the, the, this one. This one? Yeah, because it's similar to the Starburst. That sure. Okay, so when I open this up, you want to make sure to put away the trash. I don't ever want to see a Hay Skipper brand thing laying on the beach. Always put it in your pocket, put it in the trash can, put it in the trash bag. But you see, I have it in a Ziploc bag, so you can just keep zipping it up and reusing this bag here. And this other high-low rig, I'm going to take it off the hook and put the float on here. And then I'll retie my hook. And there we go. We have one float on here, one without a float, one with the float, okay? Just like that. Then I'll put a piece of shrimp. And then I'm gonna secure it with the bait thread. Now I'm gonna throw it in the hole right next to it. And I got one more rod. I'm gonna set up with just shrimp as well to see which one gets more bites, regular shrimp or starburst shrimp. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna put one starburst on the bottom and nothing at the top. This one is uh, cherry, I think. So this, I want it to be right here. Maybe I'll just, uh, instead of hooking it through, I'll just like melt it around like this. That looks good, like that. The top one, we're gonna leave blank. And now? And now we wait. I've got three rods baited up. Any of them could get bitten at any point, so we gotta pay attention to it, okay? That one was pulling hard. Hope it's a pumping out.
the same time. It bit the starburst one. Look at that. Yes. It's on the yellow starburst. Oh my goodness, so cute. A little puppy drum. I think this is a keeper size drum. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And look, it bit both of them. It bit the one with the starburst and it bit the, the other, other shirt. Yeah. That's a good one, y'all. I'm gonna bite your belly, Aaron. This is 21 and a half inches. We'll make something good with this yeah, yeah. in our new kitchen. Yep. Woo! took just shrimp and it broke one of the hooks off somehow maybe a bluefish hit it first nice now I can use this for bait here I can cut them up put them out for bait catch an even bigger fish and we caught a redfish already so that means if we put this out we could probably catch an even bigger redfish Time to try some more candy. So I realized that I thought there were five flavors, but there are only four. Right? Pink, red, yellow, orange. We've okay. done pink and orange taste test. I yellow. think let's do yellow and red. Go ahead. Okay. You take yellow, I'll take red. All right, let's let's try some of this one. I can't eat that much candy, okay? I'm gonna get What's your favorite flavor? I would like to know in the comments, please. Are you eating the yellow one? Yeah. I missed that. How is Good. it? Lemony? Mm. I still like pink the best. Really? But this is good. Okay, here's cherry. I'm gonna try lemon first. Lemon? What the heck? Well, the lemon was good. You just gotta take it. my word for it. Here's the cherry. Mm. Tastes like bubble gum. What? I don't like this one. Tastes like medicine. Yeah. I was gonna say cherry flavor is historically not my favorite. It always reminds me of medicine as a kid. This is so good. Strawberry was my favorite as well. I didn't like this one. I like the yellow one and I like the pink one. Well, let's see what the fish like. Brendan, how was your day? I am really happy. I caught a nice redfish. I'm gonna take that home and cook that up right now. Yes, we are going to do it based on a cookbook that we found from the 70s, right? Which is gonna be fun. So join us as we go home. Next. Is my whole face in shadow right now? I know. It, it's. it's just I think it's, it's fine. You can't do anything about it. How did the Starburst work for you? I actually got a lot of bites using the starburst. Yeah, you caught the redfish on that yellow starburst. Yes, I did, so. and we caught we caught a we caught a whiting. Uh -huh. We got two missed bites. A couple and, sharks. Uh, yeah, 
just a quick morning fishing session. Yeah. And we've got some dinner now. Yeah. That was fun. I think that the Starburst definitely worked, if you have to ask me. All right. Let's cook it up. Let's do it. Welcome guys, back at my kitchen. I have a fresh redfish that I just caught from the surf and we're gonna cook it up a really special way. I've got my cousin visiting all the way from California and my parents are coming over later this evening and I'm preparing. Kira, what's going on? Oh, we got Kira too. Mm -hmm. Kira's gonna be helping us as well. So we're gonna cook this redfish up using the fresh shrimp that I caught a few months back and we're gonna be using this cookbook, Creole Gumbo and All That Jazz. This is a cookbook that highlights some really great New Orleans seafood recipes. And today what we're cooking up is a whole baked stuffed redfish. Now this sounds delicious. It's a redfish that's completely stuffed with shrimp, stuffing, crab meat, onions, bell peppers, butter, all sorts of good things. And this is gonna be packed full of that. Let's get cooking. Okay, so to prepare your fish, you're first gonna clean and scale the redfish. Leave the head and the tail on just for looks, or cut them off if there isn't enough room on your roasting pan. Remove the backbone in a strip from just behind the head to the front of the tail. This is done by severing each rib carefully where it joins the vertebrae, and then undercutting the spine. Rub the fish inside and out with melted butter, salt, and black pepper and a little bit of cayenne pepper. For the stuffing, we're gonna melt the butter in a large skillet and cook the celery, green pepper, chopped onion, and garlic until it's soft and transparent. We're gonna add the Worcester sauce, dry mustard, sherry, tobacco, thyme, and crumbled bacon and cook it for about five minutes or more. Now we're gonna add the fish stock or chicken broth if the mixture is too dry. Tear the French bread into little pieces, moisten it with the fish broth, and knead it into a paste with the fingers. Add the beaten eggs and work them into the mixture. Mix in the shrimp and the crab meat and season this all to taste with salt and black pepper. Now it's time to bake the fish. First, we're gonna put the dressing into the belly cavity of the redfish. Next, we're gonna put the cup of olive oil, the cup of white wine, a cup of fish stock or chicken broth. We're gonna lay sliced onions and the sliced tomatoes on top of the fish and some more around the pan in the juice. Cover the pan and bake it in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes to an hour. And we're gonna baste it often to keep it from drying out. We're gonna add more stock if it's necessary. About 15 minutes before the fish is done, we're gonna sprinkle flour and the sliced potatoes into the juices around the fish. Leave the pan uncovered for the last 15 minutes. At the end, spoon the pan juices and all the ingredients over top of the fish. Everybody you sit down, let's have dinner. Wow, this fish smells amazing. This is a very special fish. Fresh caught off the beach, so it's an ocean fish. And we stuffed it full of the shrimps that we caught. We got fresh crabs in there, potatoes, all sorts of deliciousness. Thank you. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, look at this stuffing in here. Ooh, Ooh who gets a head? Me. You? Mmm, that stuffing is delicious. Mm. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. What does it taste like? It's like, just, just tastes like... beautiful seafood. Beautiful seafood. Beautiful seafood. I like that. Mmm. Mm. Potatoes are perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just take a look at the... It's gone. <laughs> Even the sauce is gone. Every little bit is gone. And that is a delicious meal made by the family, for the family, caught on the beach. If you wanna go on an adventure like this, keep following us on Hey Skipper Fishing and uh, visit our website if you wanna support us. We've got lots of products, lots of things to help you learn how to catch fish and just get on fish right away. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.